Hello, folks. Welcome to the show, Jack Chow with East to West Show on GNE TV. And there was one time about a two month, one one and a half month ago, we started a big subject with uh, California water. So California is always a, a problem. Water is a big problem with California. We never had enough, but uh, this year in particular, the situation is getting even worse. Mm -hmm. So with me today again is my uh, reliable source of information, Mr. Ken, Mr. Ken, uh, Ken Manning. Manning. Mm -hmm. And he is the executive director of the San Gabriel Basin Water Quality Authority. Correct. Quite good. Yeah. We understand that we're talking about the subject with the right person. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. Now, uh, just how bad the situation is. There was, uh, uh, last time when we had a little rain though, people mm -hmm. thought like, we had a relief. Mm -hmm. And pretty soon we said no, That they, I, I heard over the news, they say no, 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 we're far, far, far away from real relief. So, yeah. so how bad is the situation so far? Well, in, depending on where you are in the state, it's, mm -hmm. it depends uh, mm -hmm. how bad it is. But in general, just kind of give you a feel for the state of California. Uh -huh. In general, we'll get around 12, 12 and a half, maybe 13 inches of rain a year mm -hmm. on average. Mm -hmm. But this year, we've only received a little over four and a half. And last year, we only oh. received a little over four and a half. Oh, I see. So we are way below, not even, I mean, these, these two years, mm -hmm. last year and this year, mm -hmm. are gonna go on record as the worst two years for rainfall in the state of California mm -hmm. since 1850 since we've been keeping track of records. Oh, since the open war. Yeah, yeah <laughs> literally since, since, well, since statehood. All right, so, okay. So the state of California is going through a, a long, prolonged drought. Wow. And the ramifications mean that what we're not getting is we're not getting snowpack in the mountains. Because mm -hmm. our best storage of water is snowpack in the mountains. Because I then it, as, it, as it warms and that, that snow melts, mm -hmm. it releases that water slowly so that we can catch it into both groundwater basins and into surface storage basins, and then utilize it throughout the state and move it around. Mm -hmm. This year, we didn't get as much snowpack, we didn't get as much rain in the north, we didn't I get see. as much rain in the south, so mm -hmm. this has been a horrible year in terms of, of rain. So what mm -hmm. that does is it puts a tremendous amount of stress on the system, both mm -hmm. for environmental purposes, mm -hmm. in the delta or in other rivers and streams, mm -hmm. and it also, for, for agriculture, it puts a tremendous amount of stress. And I of see. course, in the, in the urban areas like where we are, yeah. um, you know, there's less water for us to, to be able to drink. Mm -hmm. Now, is it time for us to panic? No, no, it's not. Right. There's a lot of water in storage throughout mm -hmm. the state of California that'll get us through this year. Mm -hmm. But what most agencies up and down the state are asking for mm -hmm. is that residents will conserve as much water as they can, mm -hmm. both mandatory and voluntary, all right. so that we can make sure that we have enough water to get through this year I in see. hopes that maybe next year's rain season I will see. be better. In other words, look at the rain though, we have so far what we have received is not even one third of the annual average amount. Correct. Right? Yes. And then to compare rainwater with uh, snow water though, snow is more, uh, much better because it melts slowly. Correct. And gives it time to manage it. It goes underground or the surface, so on and so forth. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now. And uh, now with that cutting short though, we still have a reserve like we, well, well, the, the, the way we handle water, is that the same way or a similar way we handle the money? Well, it, there's a lot of similarities. That's interesting you say that. There's uh, a lot of similarities because uh -huh. we, we use even the same terms. We uh -huh. talk about banking water. Uh -huh. um, and so there's a lot of things that are similar oh, to it in concept. Mm -hmm. What we try to do as much as possible throughout the state of California, mm -hmm. most of the areas where where we have large population centers, mm. there is underground water. And that underground water is mm. what you'd classify as the savings account. Um, and uh, so when we have, right. we have less water on the surface, mm -hmm. we start pumping the water from the groundwater to use uh -huh. for everyday use. Mm -hmm. And so what we, most places in the state are now pumping large amounts of groundwater because they don't have surface water. Uh -huh. And what they're doing is they're depleting that bank account 
that storage account. And, and people in the state of California are getting nervous because mm -hmm. when you start doing that, when you start using that much groundwater, mm -hmm. it causes problems in, in other ways. For instance, in, if you have a large amount of, of sand and gravel and clay below mm -hmm. low ground, mm -hmm. that clay can compact and you get what they call subsidence. Or mm -hmm. you get worse, you, when you start pumping from deeper levels, you get arsenic in your water possibly. Oh, yeah, yeah. So there are things we have to look for when we're doing that. Mm -hmm. But that groundwater provides that buffer Mm -hmm. or that savings account that we can use during kind dry of, uh, periods. Kind of like a cushion. Yes, exactly kind of what like it is. like a cushion, right? Exactly okay. what it is. Uh, yes, Mr. Manning, to look at the problem that California is having to compare with other states, is it a problem of California only, or is it a problem of an overall country? With that taken into consideration, though, does it have anything to do with the global warming? Yes, like um, you know, global warming, of, of course, it's controversial. People mm -hmm. say that we aren't, aren't going through global warming, but in reality, mm -hmm. we are. We are. Uh, now, I'm not going to say what's causing it. I don't okay. really care what's All causing right. it. Okay, okay, okay. But we are going through global warming, and mm -hmm. we're seeing the effects of it in things like less rain or less snowpack. But mm -hmm. this is a national problem. It's not just in California mm -hmm. or in the Southwest. Mm -hmm. We're having these problems in, in the Midwest. We're having these problems in the Southeast. I see. Um, in some cases, it's taking the reverse. We're getting too much rain or mm -hmm. large amounts of rains in some areas of the Northeast or the, cent or the uh, North Central part uh, of the United uh, States. So this, uh, the global warming is causing changes in mm -hmm. patterns mm -hmm. to what, we're nor what is normal, we consider to be normal. So we wow. have to learn to adapt to that because we're not gonna stop that immediately. If that's gonna change, it's gonna change over, mm -hmm. over decades and centuries. Mm -hmm. not over years. Yeah. So we have to learn to adapt to what's going on. I see. And of course, facing <laughs> such a problem is a challenge to all kinds of people, to people from all areas, all industries mm -hmm. are suffering the same kind of problems, right? Yes. But to compare with others, is the ag agriculture industry receive the more impact or others? No, agriculture is where we feel it immediately mm. because uh, in the state of California, about 75 to 80 percent of all water used in the state of California mm. is used by agriculture. I see. And so when we have situations like we have right now where we've had multiple years of drought, mm. you'll, you'll see where farmers are starting to let um, crops go idle. I They're see. talking about the potential of 500,000 acres of, of cropland going idle this summer. Uh -huh. Because there isn't enough water Going to idle pump to them. means that it means uh, they just don't plant anything. They just let it oh, sit for a year. Oh, I see. And there's about fifty thousand acres mm -hmm. of orchards and and uh, trees, of course, nuts and and oh. things that are also talked about. They're oh. actually going to take those and and take those trees out because they haven't got the water to uh, to supply oh, I them. I see. I see. That's quite a bit. Yeah, it's it's so far mm -hmm. it's had an impact of of somewhere in the neighborhood of around two percent of the, st mm. the economy of the state of California mm. has already been affected mm. uh, adversely. Especially so the southern part of California though, is kind of a, a more tend to be agricultural land. When you drive up, up north mm -hmm. to San Francisco mm -hmm. by I-10, I, I I, 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 I 101 or I-5, uh -huh. you see on the other side, there's mm -hmm. still vast land. Yes. Those are the crop land. So, they are affected. Yeah, as a matter of fact, if you go up Highway 5 or 99, either mm -hmm. one of those, mm -hmm. you'll see on the sides of, you'll see on the sides of the road signs by mm -hmm. by farmers mm -hmm. talking about the link between the farm and and water and the mm -hmm. need to get additional water. I see. But if you if you drive Highway 5, um, I have yet to drive it over the last two years and mm -hmm. not see some farmer taking out, actually physically taking trees out of the ground because mm -hmm. they don't have the water to supply um, to them uh, year round. I see. Why do they have to take a tree out of the ground? Because the tree's going to die because they can't get water to it anyway. So mm -hmm. they just take the, they take the tree out and they get the land ready and they'll plant trees the next year if they have water. Oh, I see, I see. So in other words, the situation is quite worse already, quite, 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 quite serious. Right? Yeah, it's affecting agriculture um, uh, quite mm -hmm. a bit so far mm -hmm. in the state of California. But uh, as I said, um, you know, they, they use the most amount of water. But there's mm -hmm. some things that agriculture is starting to do because they realize mm -hmm. that they need to change the way they operate. Mm -hmm. And so you're starting to see agriculture both in the Imperial Valley and the Central Valley uh -huh. and the Salinas Valley. Mm -hmm. 
they're starting to go to drip irrigation systems rather than flood irrigation. Oh, so you're seeing see. pipes being run now where drip systems are being put in. Mm -hmm. So where water is being delivered directly to the plant rather than to a large area. I see. And I that, see. Sa that, that alone could save the state of California, uh -huh. oh, 20% of the water yeah, in the state of California. That's a big concept. That's, that's a, a huge, a huge you're amount talking, of water. You're talking about uh, getting away from evaporation. Right. right. Uh -huh. So, all right. So how about the industrial water? Well, in does, a lot of industries depend on water and high water quality mm -hmm. in order for their products. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing in the state of California now is working with a lot of industries on switching over to mm -hmm. uh, recycled water, water that comes through the sanitation district, is All treated right. to very high quality, mm -hmm. and then pumped pipe to their facilities, and they mm -hmm. use that kind of water. Mm -hmm. We're also working with them on ways to conserve so that they can recycle their own water within their own system. Mm -hmm. well, in the past, they have, they have, like for a manufacturing, they would use their water to develop their product, and then they would put that water into the sewer system. Mm -hmm. And what we're taught, we're working with them on is developing ways for them to re reclaim that water in mm -hmm. their own system, clean it within their, on their own mm -hmm. facilities, and then reuse that same water again so it could be used two or three times right. rather than just once. Okay, good. All right, my audiences, uh, today we're talking about our water problem. It is something big, a big problem. The big problem is so big there. The problem is, the, the bigger problem behind this is that we just don't realize it. Every time we turn the tap on, there goes water. Mm -hmm. We take it for granted mm -hmm. when the water is water, just like that, right? So uh, today joining me is uh, a uh, professional in the water business. He is the director of, uh, executive director of uh, Water Quality uh, Authority and he's in charge of San Gabriel Basin Water Supplies. Mm -hmm. so we're talking about how bad California is, especially in terms of Southern California, talking about those valleys. So stay with us. We'll see uh, the other side of the picture so when we come back. <laughs>